Hey guys, it's Emma from I Create Crafts. In today's video, my Aunt Mary and I will be showing you how to create these amazing paint pours on canvases. Thank you, Aunt Mary, for helping with this video. Okay, whenever. Hi, I'm Mary Hi. <laughs> from I Create Crafts. This is Emma. She's my helper today. She's actually going to be creating this paint pour. I just came over here and I'm visiting and it was, it's a fun idea to try this out. And I see that we had these pre-mixed pouring paint and you can get this on Amazon. And we are going to um, try using these and seeing what we come up with. We've done a few and have been having fun. You see it's all over my hands. So, um, Emma too. And now we're going to get started. And we start with an empty cup. And this one is used because we've been doing some before. So, Emma, we have white paint, purple paint, and then your choice here. So, what we're going to do is layer the different colors into the cup. So, you start with whatever color you want. Go for it. This one. Okay. Okay. Put a good squeeze of that in there. A little more. That's good. Now, what do you want next? Hmm, you choose the next one. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a glittery blue. That is like a metallic. I thought that was pretty neat, too. How about we do some of this pink? Okay. This one's going to really be different. There. That's pretty. That Did looks metallic-y, too. Don't Slower. How about purple next? Yes. Okay. So let's pour some of that in there. There isn't a lot in here yet, but enough to do one more pour. Yep. How about some white? You have that over here. This is the one you use, right? Hmm? Yeah, I think okay. so. Now I just pour that in there. Some more, a little more. Wonderful. Okay, so what we're doing is we're layering the different colors in the cup. And I don't want to mix it around too much right now, but how about one more color? Would you like the dark blue or this real light color? I don't know, I like them both. Let's, try, dis let's try this one because right. it's open. And we'll just pour that in there. Oops, a little more. Now we're going to start over. Oh, and we never said that there's tax on the bottom of it to help. Yes, that when, when we do this and the paint runs down, if you leave it flat on a surface, it's going to stick when it dries. So we use the tacks. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> so let's start again and just do another layer of the paint in here. Then we are about ready to do like milk. the pour or the dump, however you want to call it. Good. This is what it looks like now. And now, Emma, if you could take the canvas, turn it over on top of the cup. And then flip it and set it back down here. There you go. Now, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to lift it up a little and go. Go for it. And then swirl it. Okay. That's really pretty. Now she needs to tip it so the paint runs to all four corners and all the edges. That's really pretty. It reminds me of like marble. Your hands are going to get does. dirty. Your hands will definitely get dirty. You could always wear gloves. If you're smart. Yep. Here. That's good. Okay. Now flip it back towards your side. Oops. This way. That's really pretty. Like this. Go for it. Thanks. And then not everything runs over, then you have to be real careful with your finger to kind of encourage some of that paint to come over. Yep, see how she's doing that? That's how you, you just tap it. And I actually take paint from down here that was spilled. So you get the same colors. And that helps it to all get covered.
Now, once we're done with this, we're gonna take a torch to this. And if you heat the surface of the paint, a lot of times you'll get some cells that come out. And it really makes it beautiful, even more beautiful than it is here. So we're gonna get our torch quick. See how the cells are coming out? So here's the finished product and basically the majority of the paint used in this is this um, color pour paint that you can get pre-mixed on Amazon. The link is, is in the comments, right? Okay, for this. And um, it's a lot of fun and it's easy. It's messy, but it's so worth it. What do you think? I love it. This is the best one yet. I hope you all enjoyed this how-to video that my Aunt Mary and I created. I had so much fun creating this craft with her. I can't wait to make more crafts with her. Happy crafting, everyone.